Welcome to another edition of Monday Horrors. After playing Doll Impostor last week, we're going to play Zoo Normally this week. This is another indie game that came out on Steam this year, so let's go have a look how it is. Let's see what this game is. The mission is as follows. A zoo has been taken over by blood monsters from another dimension called Bloom Bloomora. Our intel suggests that because the monster infestation is locked away behind the facility within uh, 20 shards and hit all of the room is it. So you have to recover all 20 shards and reassemble the key and stop whatever is caused. Ooh, I like this! Need a cup of uh, tea, I need a sip of this shit. Good luck. Well, thank you. Uh, it's darkness. Find a light for your bloomer bank. Find a light. Let me be. Oh. Oh. Stay away. Stay away. Gee, okay. Oh. Is there anything here? Ooh. I need to push this over. I know what to do. See? I'm smart. Wait, hold on. Ooh, there's a map. They gave me the whole freaking map. That's amazing. Oh! Oh, damn. Frame rate is fucking insane, ain't it? Here my children live. Let me construct my sanctuary. Ah! 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 What the fuck? Why'd you, what did I ever fucking do to you, you little piece of shit? Ah, fuck! What the shit, bro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that, that one caught me off guard a little bit. That respawn. <laughs> fuck! Ah, ah! Why'd you eat me? Oh my- No! Don't you dare come near me. What the f- Where the fuck am I? I'm lost. Help, I'm lost. And I'm fucking terrified. Where are the shards? I feel like it would have been fucking useful if you showed me what a shard looks like. Shut the fuck up! Go away! <laughs> fuck! Where the hell did this thing respawn me to? Oh my fucking god! Bruh! I just came back! Oh my god! It's spawn killing me! 
Bro, this shit is spawn killing me. Oh my god. Bruh, I literally cannot escape. I could not escape. What the fuck does this do? Oh? There might be something there. Oh, I see something. Okay, so... That's what I'm trying to get. Not dead end. I really hope that fucking slender man motherfucker doesn't catch me in here. No. Ah, uh, you're supposed to find 20 shards. I found one so far, I can see another one up there somewhere. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna go out. Yes, I can go in the water. Fuck. You come near me, I'll fucking shoot you. Okay, I, I, I should have expected that. I, I should have fucking expected that. Okay. I, sh I should have expected that. <laughs> okay, fuck. Mate, stop screaming. Holy fuck, I, I thought you were friendly. Oh no, there's a glitch. There's a glitch. I'm glitched, I can't see my fucking gun. It's right over there.
I can't make that jump. What the fuck? I cannot make that jump. Okay, so. I have a view. No, I can't make that jump either. How do I get there? Okay, so. So let's try that again. stuck on top of this thing because like what I'm thinking is if I have to port myself this is the only way but I'm out of fucking bulbs like I need to go get some bulbs fuck oh You definitely see more into this one than the doll one. I, like, I, I'm enjoying the premise, but I'm genuinely kind of finding this a little frustrating. Uh, it, it's a good premise. I, I like this premise. You're in a zoo, and you have to collect 20 shards to send all these motherfuckers back. And these 20 shards are placed very annoyingly everywhere in places that feel like you can't reach them. I've, I've been playing this for almost two hours, I've got one shard. You see, this is my theory. My theory is one of these catapults send me to where I need to go. Let me just see if they line up, so... I feel like they do line up. Okay, so... I need to get to... This one. They definitely line up. Not the fuck all. It looks like- look, it's- look, the worst part about this game is that this is an indie game, so there's no guides anywhere on how to get these things. There's no guides anywhere on how to get the shards. Because this is an indie game. No one's fucking done it. <laughs> or the people who have done it have not um, reported anything. Can I like... I need to find a key. Oh, key. I did something. I did something. Look at that. You know what? I call this a win. I call that a win. <laughs> I call that a win. I got a second fucking shard. Okay. <laughs> um, honest review? Honest review? This game is frustratingly good. It's frustrating, but it's good. I feel like I'm gonna feel extremely rewarded 
when I find all the keys and send these motherfuckers back to their dimension. It gave me a couple of... Okay, so here's the thing. I'll, I'll say it like this. For between this game and that doll game, Doll Imposter, um, Doll Imposter has a much more scarier vibe. Yeah? This game, I feel like, gave me jump scares towards the start of the game, but I don't feel like I'm gonna get jump scared anymore. Like, if I completely turn... Um, if, if I just completely turn myself off, if I'm, if I'm like... If I have all my defenses down, maybe I'll get jump scared. But yeah, of course one of the little nuggets had the key. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Um, no, but, like, I feel like the scary factor in this game went away very early in the game. Because, like, I feel like, Dany, you saw me. I feel like when you saw me play this game, it was just kind of like... At the start, I was getting scared, and then I just stopped being scared, and I was just, like, much more into the exploration aspect. For the most part, that was fun. That was fun. It's frustratingly good. Th this game is frustratingly good so far. It kind of reminds me of Slender Man. It's, it's the same premise. You're in a big, open place, and you have to find 20 keys instead of 8 notes. Uh, so... Thank you everyone for joining in, everyone who came in. Do I like this game? Yeah, I, I, I do enjoy this game. So, yeah, I'll say it like that. There was like one or two glitches, but I can live with that. I barely noticed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, until next time. Oh, wait, hold on. The shards. The shards make a key. That's... That's tight. Okay. Anyways, I'll call the stream over there. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you all. Um, thank you guys for being members as well. I know a lot of people.